Hi, my name's Nadia Marshall. Welcome to Warmth TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make potato and cauliflower curry or aloo gobi. This makes a lovely winter meal when potatoes and cauliflower are in, uh, in abundance and very inexpensive. Um, it's fantastic because it's a little bit heavier and heartier without being as heavy as, for example, a steak. So in winter, our digestive fire, our agni, tends to be much stronger than it is in summer because the heat of our body is moving from our peripheries into the centre of our body where our body tries to make sure that we're not losing too much heat. As a result, our digestive fire gets a lot stronger and we get a lot hungrier and we find ourselves craving nice hearty grounding warming meals so this is a, a wonderful option that you're absolutely going to love it doesn't take too long to cook and it's super easy and super delicious enjoy so here we have our lovely ingredients we've got our ghee yes quite a large jar recipe We've got our diced potatoes, our little cauliflower florets, onion, garlic and ginger, some tomato, then we have the turmeric on the curry leaves, mustard seeds and these are coriander seeds and cumin. Then we've got some fresh coriander to add at the end and we have our ground cumin and coriander in the little spice grinder, some lemon at the end and some salt to taste. So we start by heating up the ghee in a large pot, add the mustard seeds and the curry leaves. And when they start to pop and sizzle away, making sure that it's mustard seeds that are popping as well, then we can add our onion. Stir that in and we want to cook the onion until it's a lovely golden colour so this is what it looks like at the start and then when it's this colour beautiful golden we can add our garlic and our ginger and then our turmeric our cumin and coriander and finally the tomatoes and we can stir that all in so we've used quite a lot of ghee, you can see, because the potatoes can be quite astringent, so they'll take up quite a lot of fat, so it's good to have a, a nice base of oil to begin with. So when the tomatoes are soft and the spices have been cooked for a few minutes, then we can add the potatoes and the cauliflower. You can add these at the same time. They cook at about the same rate. If you find any florets that are still quite big, it's good to take them out and chop them a little bit smaller so everything's even and will cook at a similar time. Then stir the spices in, pop on the lid, and you'll notice that the spices start to stick on the bottom of the pan. If that's the case, just add some salt at this stage, and that will help to draw the moisture out of the vegetables. And then after a few minutes, it will look more like this. So you'll get more of a soft softness on the bottom of the pan. A bit further down the track, maybe five minutes, you can add some water. And then you can need, add a little bit more water at the end so you can get a nice sauce like we have here. So this cooks for about 20, 25 minutes until the potatoes and the cauliflower are completely soft. Then finally we add our coriander and some lemon juice, more salt to taste if required. Stir that all in so it looks very beautiful. And finally, secret ingredient, add a little bit more ghee on top if it looks like it's a little bit dry and then it will be extra delicious. But I am a ghee monster so you don't have to. Serve it all up with some basmati rice. You can have some extra greens on the side if you wish and a lemon wedge. Enjoy.